for to you is born this day a Savior, Christ the Lord. Inviting you to spend your five minutes in listening, meditating, and praying on the Word of God as you begin your day. Blessing and peace to you and all your family members. May the Lord Jesus bless you with love and peace. December 25th, 2022. Sunday, the Nativity of Our Lord. Prepare your mind and heart as you listen to the Gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh my God and King, I beg you to grant me the grace, during this time of meditation, that all my intentions, actions, and operations may be directed purely to the praise and service of your Divine Majesty. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to saint luke chapter 2 verses 1 to 14. in those days a decree went out from caesar augustus that all the world should be enrolled this was the first enrollment when quirinius was governor of syria and all went to be enrolled each to his own city and Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the city of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to be delivered. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling cloths, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. And in that region there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were filled with fear. And the angel said to them, be not afraid. For behold, I bring you good news of a great joy, which will come to all the people. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths, and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel, a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among men, with whom he is pleased. The Gospel of the Lord Let us pray and meditate on this Gospel passage. Why was the Messiah? the long-promised Savior from the royal house of David. Born in obscurity and lowliness in a little town of Bethlehem. This was a most inconvenient time. And a physical ordeal for Mary. Since her baby was due any day now. And as luck would have it. Bethlehem was overcrowded. They had to settle for the most primitive of accommodations. And cave in the hillside which was used as a stall for animals. The Word became flesh. Why was it necessary? That God's only begotten Son, the Word of God, become flesh? God loved us and sent His Son to be the expiation for our sins. The Father sent His Son as the Savior of the world. The Word appeared to take away sins. For God so loved the world, that he gave us his only son, that whoever believes in him, 
should not perish but have eternal life. Let us pause to pray silently and ask the Lord Jesus to bless you with all the graces you need for today. Prayer. Lord our God. With the birth of your Son. The Lord Jesus Christ. Your glory breaks on the world. As we celebrate his first coming. Give us a foretaste of the joy. That you will grant us. When the fullness of his glory. Has filled the earth. Amen. <laughs>